Hello, I'm Marianne Wilburn, the Small Town Gardener, and this odd contraption on my head is a gnat hat. Now, I'm obviously not in my garden right now, I'm at my writing desk, but I recently had a reader ask me if I would mind demonstrating how to make this very effective, very easy, and very cheap tool for combating the gnats in this region. If you have any kind of outside life out here, whether you go out to your children's soccer games, or you're a bona fide gardener, or you just like to hang out with friends around a campfire, the chances are your life is made a living hell by these horrible little black flies that swarm around our heads from spring through the time that we all hibernate in the winter. And they get up your nose and they go into your eyeballs and they bite your eyeballs somehow and they suck the blood from your ears and they go into your mouth and they basically just make life miserable. Unless of course you're a native and if you're a native there's an unspoken rule that you're not allowed to say just how much they bother you. Well I'm a California girl and after 14 years on this coast I am not above saying just how much they bother me nor am I above wearing a hat, no matter how attractive or not attractive, to protect me from their advances in the garden. So it's easy because it's just three ingredients to make it. It's effective because they cannot get through the tool. And let me tell you, there is nothing like watching them swarm around the outside of the tool, trying to get in and you knowing that they can't. It gives your, your heart a little bit of a boost. And it's cheap because if the tool is ripped, which it does get ripped, in fact, this is my tried and true hat, and thanks to the attentions of my Jack Russell Terrier, you can see it has been um, gnawed in a couple places, uh, you can always replace the tool very easily. So you need three things. You need a helmet. I use a bee helmet. I'm a beekeeper. I had this lying around, but I actually think that this is the best uh, type of hat that you can use for a few reasons. One, it's scratchy. It has a texture and consequently the tool really stays in place a lot better. Two, it has a band that goes around the inside of the hat which keeps it up off of your skin during the summer months which are pretty hard back here because of the humidity. That's the other thing about the Mid-Atlantic, the humidity and the gnats. Charming combination. But Bitterness aside, and going back to the hat, it also has a long or large brim that's very sturdy. This one is a little less sturdy because of the attentions of said Jack Russell. Uh, and it's pretty cheap. You can get these for about $15 or $16 in a bee catalog. But you can also use a baseball cap uh, or another hat that has a fairly good texture. But it just has to have a wide brim and it has to have you know, a little bit of texture on the top. Then you need a yard of black tool. Black and tool are the two key words in that sentence. Black because uh, you can see through it. Don't go and find an old bridal veil and use that, and no matter how frugal you are, because the white reflects light into your eyes and you won't be able to see through it as easily as you can see through tool. And tool because it's much, much finer than the netting that's used in uh, petticoats. And believe me, those gnats will find a way through those holes to the vacation spots that are your eyeballs. So, yard of black tool, knot it on both of its ends, just a quick little knot, and then open it up, put the hat on your head, and put the tool over the top of your head into the middle and gather it very softly into the back holding on to it with your left hand and holding the brim at the same time there you go and smooth it down nicely softly holding on to all of that tool in the back there you go the romantic look really romantic right and then pull the whole contraption off your head turn the hat around and using our third ingredient, the humble clothespin, you attach it to the back of the brim. I'm going to take this off so that you can see how I've attached this one. It's not rocket science. It's very, very simple. It's very effective. But that keeps it up off the back of your neck 
Again, the humidity is really bad back here. So when I first made this hat, I did just gather it in the back and I tied it. And that was a big mistake because that kind of netting on the back of your neck in the middle of August does not a happy camper make. So three ingredients to enjoy your garden again. Get yourself a hat, get yourself some tool, get yourself a clothespin. In fact, while you're at it, get several because when you have guests over, they're gonna look at you in your hat and they're going to hate you as they swipe away and they'll wanna go inside and you want them to be outside in your garden. And it's just as easy as getting them another gnat hat. So thank you for joining me on this, my first ever YouTube video for the Small Town Gardener. I bet you couldn't tell, right? <laughs>